One question I am keen to answer because it's one of my favourite players I've been watching since I've been covering the championship. Leeds 2021 asked, thoughts on Pablo and Berardi leaving Leeds? Look, I'll just quickly say on Berardi, I know he's a bit of a cult hero, a bit of a madman, played anywhere across the back four. I think he had a bad injury at the start of the season, but they gave him the contract and rehabilitated him. So, look, good luck to him. But Pablo Hernandez is pretty much, other than Bielsa, the most important figure at Leeds, um, certainly on the pitch, in terms of their promotion and ultimate rise up to this top half finish. Um, Hernandez came in, I think, under Gary Monk, who possibly... He was playing in Qatar or Dubai or something like that. And um, it was a bit of a case of, oh, he played in the Premier League for Swansea and he'd gone out and, oh, that was that. And, you know, uh, have a nice life. Go and get your um, go and get your big contract out there. Um, and I, th I think it was Gary Monk who brought him back. And so I think he's back there in the season where Chris Wood is there initially. But obviously... Um, when Bielsa arrives, Hernandez is at the club. And I just think he's been such an important player because Leeds went from that. Um, I remember going to see them and, God, they had uh, Lasoga, this big hulking striker up front. And it was Saiz, Hernandez and Alioski playing off him. And in the end, they realised that, well... You just kind of need Hernandez there. And so when Bielsa then takes over, you basically have a lieutenant on the pitch who can raise the standards of others around him. And I would go and watch Leeds in um, sort of 18, 19 and 19, 20 under Bielsa. And Hernandez was just so, so good. It wasn't true. And he was one of these players. It's a bit like when... Merson or Prozanetsky came back to Pompey and played in the second tier. And you're like, God, you're way, way too good for this level. This is this is just a cheat code. How good must you have been when you were younger? And of course, the, the club that owns the player, um, there's, there's no risk of anyone coming along and taking him because of the age of the player. And you would see Leeds playing. They play the 4-1-4-1. And Andes would often play wide right and he'd pick up that pocket. And genuinely... And genuinely, I've been at Leeds games and watched Hernandez play and literally been sat there laughing um, because it was just so easy for him. Um, and little, just little cameos where the ball would be played into him and he would effortlessly control it, take a little touch and like, almost like he was taking the mickey, just ping the ball um, out of play. And of course, he could carry the ball. And his numbers in the 18-19 season were brilliant. And he scored a load of goals and a load of assists. And ultimately, Leeds didn't make it, did they? Um, and then the next season, he was used a bit less. But if you remember, at the back end of that season, who actually got Leeds over the line in the end in those last games? It was Hernandez, wasn't it? And it was like um, this great kind of cameo um, he would come off the bench. I remember him scoring that decisive goal at Swansea. And then I think he scored a silly goal in the big win against, against Charlton. They beat someone, maybe beat someone five. I think it might have been Stoke. But um, we've been very, very lucky watching the championship uh, to see some brilliant players very, very recently. We've had uh, Buendia this season and Saar, haven't we? We've been too good for the league. Grealish. Um, previously, um, maybe Pereira for West Brom. And if he stays, he maybe proved to be like that. And Hernandez would certainly be in there. A lot of those other players are going to, you know, go on to greater things, whereas Hernandez had kind of already been there and come back down. So, yeah, completely beloved player from Leeds fans. Honestly, I absolutely loved watching him. I thought he was a brilliant player and one of the most elegant players you'll you'll ever see in championship level and of course he would never play at this level when he's 25 or 26 because he'd just be weighed I think he played Champions League quarter final or something when he was at Valencia back in the day so um yeah just an absolute joy uh, to watch Pablo Hernandez and I know um he'll be deluged with good wishes from 
Leeds fans. But from this neutral, um, good luck to him. And um, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but when you pay your money for your ticket and you say, I pay to watch that guy, he's one of them. So, yeah, good luck to um, Pablo Hernandez, who's just been um, an absolutely incredible player in the championship. 